I'm in the temperate rainforests of Vancouver Island looking for an animal that adds rocket fuel to this ecosystem. An animal whose influence is so powerful, it literally makes trees grow. And here it is. That's right, the superhero of this forest is a fish. And it's time to dive in and get a better look. All right, all set. Um, there's a big pool of salmon down here. So my plan is to head up down there so I don't need to kick to get to them. Come in nice and silent so I don't spook them. And then let the current drift me down. And hopefully it'll let me drift straight through the school. These salmon have already made the roughest journey of their lives, swimming hundreds of miles down from Alaska. And you can see many of them are looking a little worse for wear. As they swim upstream, they undergo an amazing body change and become very sexually dimorphic. Males have a big hook jaw. Females don't. Every generation of salmon comes back to the exact same stream they were born in. And we're still not totally sure how they do it. <laughs> that was absolutely incredible. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hang on a second. That is not the whole story. Most terrestrial ecosystems constantly leak nutrients from the land into the rivers, and that nutrients then gets washed out into the ocean. This is one of the few examples where it's the other way around. This is the end of the salmon's life cycle. Once they mate, they die. Everything wants to eat these fish, and it's this predation that fertilizes the forest. The salmon whose bodies were built up in the open ocean are now being dragged into the forest. The carcass that the predators leave behind decomposes, and then the trees use that nutrients to grow. Look at this place. Some of these trees are absolute monsters. These guys are cedars. Pretty amazing little system how marine nutrients, you know, nutrients from the ocean is coming back into a, a land system and allows all these trees to grow really, really big. But all that awesome science doesn't make this any less of a bloodbath. Everyone wants a piece of the action. And even if the salmon managed to lay their eggs before getting eaten, there are still plenty of animals ready to swoop in and grab an eggy breakfast. But nothing, nothing compares to when the bears show up. They go crazy for this salmon feast because it's crucial to their fat reserves before hibernation. Because the salmon runs just started, they're eating a lot of it. Cool. All right, let's go and find the bear that did it. But more on that next time. Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching. Now normally these episodes are standalone stories, but this encounter was just way too epic. Um, so if you want to find out what happens, you're going to have to tune in next week. And to see a playlist of the entire series, click here.